Howdy, folks, and welcome back to The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, we're up to episode four of season one. The whole world is watching, it's called. Um, and I'm reminded after watching a bunch of reactions from the last episode that I completely missed the fact that um, when uh, Bucky was pretending to be the Winter Soldier, people were filming. I'm wondering if that's going to get back to him. There's a lot of people were speculating. Uh, is, is his pardon? In, well, I don't think a pardon can be withdrawn. I don't think there's any precedent for a pardon being taken back. I don't think they can do that, but they could charge you with new crimes, right, that you weren't pardoned for. Uh, but more importantly, well, no, they said it was a condition of his parole, though. Or, not parole, condition of his pardon <laughs> that he not commit violence. So, theoretically, it could invalidate the pardon. It has not yet become a, a full pardon yet. So, I wonder if that's going to come back. I wonder if that's part of what the title means. I don't know. There was a, there was a description, but I didn't read it. And the thumbnail has the new cap. I didn't, you know, I don't want to read too much into that. Um, but as with most titles of these things, it probably has a dual meaning. Uh, but anyway, last episode we got Zemo, we got Carter, who I was thinking to myself as I was watching that fight. You know, if if Sharon Carter of quote unquote today, let's say twenty twenty four or whatever, whenever it was, um, whenever this is supposed to be, um, went back in time to an equivalent age, um, you know, Peggy Carter. I think Peggy Carter would be hard pressed to beat her. Uh, she's she's much more potent, I think, than Peggy was. Peggy was tough. She was a good fighter. Uh, she was a good soldier. She was really good. But her niece is just a little bit better, I think. But uh, we'll find out. Or we won't find out. Maybe we will. And what if? I don't know. Uh, now I'm dreaming too much. Uh, we also got, like I said, Zemo. We got uh, we got the 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 security or guard character from uh, Black Panther. And I'm sorry, I still don't know her name. Uh, I did not go back to try to find it, and even if I had it, probably would have forgotten it. Uh, but she's shown up to kill Zemo, so we're going to have to see if uh, if Bucky allows that to happen. Um, Bucky doesn't particularly love Zemo either, but they need him right now. So maybe she'll join up temporarily to help them, and then she's going to kill him. <laughs> Something like that. Um, and we've got our our radicals, uh, our, our flag burners or whatever the heck they are. Um, I know that's not their name, or whatever it is. And, uh, of course, I like I said, they were building up sympathy for the leader of that group, um, the the lady, and and they shattered it at the end. I mean, when she just basically tied up a bunch of people and burned them to death. I mean, no, you're not my friend anymore. You're not good. You're not you're not you're not somebody to look up to. You're you're bad. Uh, so uh, there was a that, there was progression last episode, right? It wasn't like all in your face, but. It was it was progression, so I'd like to see where we're coming to here, what's going to happen. We didn't have a lot of the new cap in the last episode, and like I said, he's in this thumbnail, so maybe we'll get more. Let's find out. The White Wolf. Oh, back to Wakanda. Cool. This is going to be when they find out that he's out of prison now? Oh, no. Six years ago. Oh, cool. More of the White Wolf backstory. Is this how she breaks? They break her, break him. And by break, I mean fix. <laughs> Is this how they remove the the conditioning? You know, I noticed with that freight car. I need to go back and look at all those words. Do they have meaning, specific meaning to his life. Like freight car is what he fell from in the first Captain America movie when he supposedly died, right? So she has very special meaning to him, too, because she was involved in his deconditioning, his deprogramming. She set him free. Eat our sweat wolf, and we come for him. I think she means it. Put regulations and fast track to return to normalcy. Well, again, the opposite effect. So the exact opposite of what she and the group want to have happen is happening because of their actions. Because of their actions, groups are returning to, you know, the countries are returning to normal and normal borders are going back up and, you know, passage between the borders and so forth back to the way we were, which is what they don't want. They want the borders to come down and everything to be just one society. So how are they going to reconcile that? If their actions are causing this to happen faster in the wrong direction, are they going to change course? Or do they think it just means they need to redouble their efforts? I'll stay out of your way. Another thing I didn't catch from the last episode 
was that the GRC apparently is at least strongly influenced by Hydra. Um, which kind of makes sense. Like I said, Hydra's goal is to control the world, but they want to control the world with individual nations that they can use as pawns and toys to do what they want to do with, right? But they want to stay at, at, like in, in, in control or have strong influence at, at all levels of each of those nations. Um, so it makes sense that they would want everything back to the way it was. <laughs> Oh, the Turkish delights. The little, like to pay my last respects. What an interesting contrast here. The other two are kind of blunt. They're like sticking out like sore thumbs. He's trying to blend in and ask the questions and and try to try to be a wolf in sheep's clothing and succeeding. <laughs> is it just because that's the kind of personality he has? That's the kind of person he is. Whereas the other two are very much upfront, straightforward, and honest. And so they're not getting anywhere. She's not motivated by the same things. No, nah, I don't know, Sam, if that's true. The, is she different because her motivation is her motivation is toppling governments. Her motivation is causing chaos. I mean, she thinks that her end goal is peace, but she has to cause chaos to get there. And she kills people to do it. I don't know if this makes her somehow different. Even if her ultimate motivation might be different, but honestly, to, to, to what I'm understanding, how I'm understanding this, her motivation isn't different. She wants to topple governments and form one unified world. Some might argue that's, a, that's, that's some sort of an idealistic viewpoint. That's great. But the point is she's still trying to, to change the world and change the way the world is controlled which is exactly what Hydra would, was doing uh, when they try to manipulate and control countries and, and leaders. It's exactly the way all the bad guys act. I mean, all the way to Thanos, for goodness sake. So, although Thanos would do it by just killing people, he wouldn't care about who's, what governments were left. But you get my point. I, I, just because she doesn't have the exact same motivation doesn't mean she isn't as corrupt as the rest. Hey, Sam. There is also a theory. I, th I thought about this briefly at the end of the last episode, and then other people mentioned it too. This theory that Carter has gone bad, and Carter has gone Hydra. I, I just can't believe it, honestly. And that she is the one in charge here, the one who Zemo only knew by reputation. I don't know that I believe the theory, but it's an interesting theory understands their pain interesting that he's talking to her and trying to talk her up as a good person I, you kind of get the sense that she is a good person at heart i still can't get over the fact that she just murdered those guys um apparently we learned in the news earlier three people died uh, like what a dozen injured or something like that but she seems so cold about it but i don't know maybe he can redeem her Maybe she could be redeemed. Someone who understands that. Is she taking him to the real place, or is she setting up a trap here? Well, my father. Nope, real thing. Same goes for. They're still showing <clears throat> John, the new Captain America, as being completely. He's losing it. It was with the camera angles last episode, and this episode it's with the impatience of playing with the shield and the pacing, and he's unstable. John does. Of course, Zemo broke out. I was even going to say it at the time. It's just like, handcuffs? Come on. Come on, man. I lost her. Sam was really getting through to her. And so this really sucks that he, Bucky, let him, the new cap, through. Because you know he had to have. I mean, he could have easily stopped them both. The fact that he let them through, I mean, Bucky, what are you doing, man? This place isn't made. Uh oh. This is what I think it is. Yeah, you're not bulletproof. Super soldiers aren't bulletproof, but he's going to probably just stomp on all of that. Or take it himself. Is he going to take it himself, thinking that he can be the one noble, in his mind, noble super serum, super soldier, and he can defeat the rest of them by being one of them? Is that what he's going to do? Oh, no, he's just trying it. Okay. Okay. I got to shout out to the guys at Corridor Digital. 
because the shield coming into Zemo's head, as it does here, just a second. Um, it doesn't matter how sharp or blunt that shield is; that would have sliced right through his head or taken his head off. <laughs> oh no! Is there one of them left? He's gonna want it. There it is. Oh, there's your answer, man. He can be a super soldier. Did you find the vials? You'll heal faster, but you're not invulnerable. That's <laughs> Zemo just taking it in. And Zemo's out. Uncool. She's taking the shield? She should. I love how they just took his arm off. I <laughs> didn't you know they could do that. Of course they would be trained on how to do that, right? Oh, he's not all right, man. He's long since all right. He's going to take that serum. Oh, back in uniform. And the only reason he did that instead of coming in civvies is because she threatened his family. She got that mask on fast. I'll send you so is she trying to set up a trap to kill? Because she, the way she phrased that, it sounded like she was saying she's going to kill him. Because he does represent a country and all that stuff. So that's possible that that's what they're setting up here. My question is on the serum. Every other time we've seen anybody take the serum, including Steve, it's been a very painful process. In fact, she even talked about how she wasn't sure she, you know, she could survive when she took it because it hurt so much. And, and so has he taken it yet? Because if he has, he had to have gone somewhere alone for a while. And it doesn't look like a lot of time has passed. Maybe, I guess maybe a, a night has passed. So maybe. I would also point out that the super soldier serum with Steve turned him into a little weakling scrawny guy into a big buff guy. It doesn't seem to have had the same effect on anybody else who's had it. Don't take the serum now, man. Okay. Ooh. Oh, maybe he did take it. I think we're to... Yep, he took it. Stay there. <laughs> oh, no. No. Did she just inadvertently... Well, not inadvertently, but she just kill Hoskins? She didn't mean to kill him, but... He's bleeding from his ear. They showed us that. Did they show us that to indicate that he just was in a bad, you know, a big fight, which he was, and he just got hurt there? Or are they showing that because he's got a negative reaction to the serum? Because not everybody survived the serum, right? All the Russian tests, for instance, they not all, they not all of them survived, and some of them went crazy. Oh, there's one of them. He's going to go kill him. Oh, everybody's going to film Captain America killing this guy. More blood coming out of his, well, not his ear, but his head, I guess. <laughs> That's a screenshot. Oh, boy. You've done it now, man. So now, <clears throat> just checking to make sure there's no after credit scene. So now, got to do that every time now. I know it probably won't happen until the end of the season, but I don't think there's much chance of Sam taking him down now. It's going to require Bucky or Isaiah and Bucky or Isaiah. And here's my goal, my dream. Isaiah and Steve and Bucky, even though Steve is an old man, he's still strong. You know he is. Um, but probably just Bucky. So he took it. Uh, we, they didn't show us that part. They wanted us to be surprised when he suddenly had strength. So he survived. I'm sure he was intense. There was intense pain. He must have done it some sometime when his friend was not around. Um, Hoskins was not around, so that Hoskins wouldn't have known either. I don't think. Although we got no real indication in that fight before it looked like Hoskins died. They showed us his body again. I thought he was maybe going to come around or something, but. I, I'm presuming he's dead. So he's got the serum, the last vial that was found before Zemo was smashing them all. Or Zemo did smash, but missed one. 
Um, so Super Soldier on the field, who, if it amplifies, as was said in the first Captain America movie, it amplifies everything that you are, which is why it took them so long to find the candidate, uh, Steve Rogers, as the right candidate, because they weren't looking for, they weren't looking for John Walker, right? They had they had John Walkers in the first Captain America movie in World War II. They had his his type. Uh, they were there at the camp too. But they wanted Steve because it amplifies who you are. So they wanted somebody who, at their core, was a good person, who was doing things for the right reason, wasn't doing them just because that was what they were ordered to do, you know. And this guy is a little unstable. Uh, it's been they've been showing us that the whole season. He's just a little unstable. So what does the serum do? It amplifies that instability. Now he's willing to just kill somebody, right? Whereas Steve, if, if somebody had killed, well, Bucky, but I mean, if somebody had killed like now, like Sam, um, I don't think Steve would have gone and used a shield and bashed, their, bashed them to death. I was going to say bash their brains out or cut their head off, but they don't do that kind of stuff on the Marvel stuff or Disney stuff, right? Um, but theoretically, realistically, he would have just used the shield. And, and multiple times, the shield would have cut people in half or cut off their heads. So. Um, but they don't do that. But he did kill him. Steve wouldn't have done that. Steve would have captured that. He would have gotten mad. And he would have captured that person and he would have thrown him in jail, basically. He would have given him, turned him over to, to some sort of justice, justice system, whatever it was. There's, a, there's the distinct difference between the two of them. Um, so now Zemo is on the run. The Wakandans are after him. So they can almost go off on their own little side story now because they don't really need Zemo anymore, really. Um, I, I think they will, though. I think he'll come back into it, clearly. But we've also got this whole Captain America thing, and now with Bucky saying, if you don't take the shield, you know, take the shield from him, I'm going to take the shield from him. I think that might, it might come down to that. It might actually come down to that. But will it happen? In the, we only have two more episodes. Will it happen in the next episode? Or the one following. I think it's going to be in the f final episode that the confrontation with John Walker is going to happen. But there is going to be a confrontation. And then, of course, you've also got her and her, her people out there. And their objectives. And they need to be stopped. So, or at least convinced to do otherwise. You know, use other methods, <laughs> as, uh, as Sam was saying. So they've, they've got some balls in the air here. Um, and... I was, I was going to say that they're all balls in the air, but they're all playing towards the same goal, but they're not really. Um, Zemo's got different objectives than Sam and Bucky. Sam and Bucky just want to stop her. They don't want to destroy all super soldiers and all that stuff like Zemo does. Uh, John Walker now just wants to kill her and everybody like her, all of her, her people, and anybody else who stands in his way, which probably means Sam and Bucky as well. Um, <laughs> it's so there's a lot of different things going on here at least a few different things and we don't really have everything we've seen you know that theory that I talked about about how um, Sharon Carter was was actually the uh, the bad guy the top bad guy I don't think it's it's true right she's uh, she's very much helping them however it could still turn on a dime at the end and she could turn out to be the bad person but they're not giving us any real evidence of that you know or any real good character progression to show that that would make sense so i don't think that's going to be the case so who is the top person are we going to see that top person that top hydra person uh the the broker the power broker are we going to see the power broker and who is they who who is they <laughs> oh wow but this one was really good this was one of my one of my favorite episodes this one um yeah I think this one is currently my favorite of the season so far, episode four. Lots of fun stuff, a lot of good moments, a lot of good action, a lot of tense moments, character building, uh, story progression, pretty much nonstop. Really good stuff. All right, anyway, uh, that's what I thought. Let me know what you guys thought. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.